In this video, let's talk about building knowledge awareness in a machine or basically building a common sense domain of a certain knowledge in a certain field into a machine or into a graph which will enable our agent to perform multitude of tasks such as searching for data automatically in a certain domain for example computer science and then from the newly gathered data it can train itself and scale automatically or it, and there are other possibilities as well common sense reasoning uh, in the context of a certain knowledge or certain hierarchy of concepts in a particular domain is not only interesting for natural language processing but in artificial intelligence entirely and in this video particularly let's uh, uh, focus on building the pipeline that can and in that pipeline there will be many other segments with uh, different architectures uh, for this video let's talk about the most important or one of the most important architecture which is the graph and for that we are going to be looking at conceptnet so what is conceptnet suppose you have war things or corpora like warnet which is extremely large and contain almost a lot of vocabulary for almost the entire English dictionary and that is curated and parsed into a graph containing nodes and edges each node is a concept and the edges represent the relations of two or multitude of concepts and the entire graph can be requested or queried and we had a JSON response from the official uh, concept net web API or it can or, or you can have you can build your own instance of that concept net and run it on your own server or on your own database in either way it is the core element in most of our common sense reasoning approaches as you can see that conceptnet 5 has been attributed by state-of-the-art approaches of defining common sense reasoning such as knowledge graphs and agis and so on recently uh, in a paper that i read the knowledge aware graph or cagnet which is uh, which is attribute which is an attribute from the regional concept net with certain methodologies for instance it applies it uses schema graphs of certain question answering pairs and then it passes it to a convolutional graph neural network then passes to an LSTM and thus and there are other things in the paper that as the output it can represent or learn question answering pairs by learn by thus learning common sense now digging a little bit deeper into conceptnet and their document from the documentation the graph the relational graph all the concepts edges and the relations of uh, of language of a lot of language but we are interested in English for this example the graph is structured as a hierarchical representation uh, like URI like path path like objects with the identifier of certain words or certain are things or items in the vocabulary being of uh, certain types for example for nouns or concepts we have slash C that you can see before any item so that identifies that it is a concept and then with and following that concept there might be other relations that can be connected to the concept and then we would need to use the R identifier before any item that has that has any features like a relation 
and there are other things such as data sets which are collections of wide source of knowledge there are the source of primary knowledge from the given concept and many more other things and the reason why it needs to be hierarchical is the example goes as follows suppose that we are talking about a concept entropy well what is the context of entropy or what is the embedding of M entropy in the context of other concepts simplifying it it is a mathematical concept of disorder with respect to change in time being in mathematical it also connects to calculus and other subdomains in calculus which is required to calculate entropy but entropy is also used in physics to calculate some different things and as well as entropy is also used in statistics or and in machine learning to for a multitude of purposes now imagine how the graph would be structured now uh, suppose you we want our agent to be aware of entropy and all its corresponding concepts and relations but how do we do that well the default concept net is trained on warnet and uh, web wiki data sets which are very generalized forms of data from across the internet and warnet which basically is data from the English dictionary corpora now if we want to build our own concept net if we want to represent the entire graph as a matrix uh, where, where the vector space being consisting of vectors that are of a certain concept and deriving from the concept there are relations data sets and other elements in the ur hierarchy well probably doesn't make sense because kind of complicated so we need to understand it a little better but we also have the source code of a concept file and we can train our own model using concept nets uri like structures and represent the uh, um, we present it as JSON strings as an REST API with and by having uh, the graph <coughs> represented as a matrix and then in and uh, features of the matrix being the input for the novel state-of-the-art architecture such as transformers attention mechanisms or maybe LSTMs with RNNs from intuition I can say a lot of great things can be achieved but in action we need to see what happens transformers are a special type of novel neural networks which are good for modeling language sequence of sequence languages or sequence of languages uh, machine a neural machine translation samurai and many other things which we can use to model our knowledge domains and then construct the graph using concept nets architecture if you want more information on transformer it's going to be on probably some of from in the next videos or something like that because transformers is also something which is really complicated to understand because of the complexity involved with language itself so for now in this video we are going to end this discussion with having this t intuition on what concept net is in this next video we'll see how we can make our pipelines better so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video